when I had you, I was I okay? I need you beside me. Hi everyone, Petal is less here. Welcome back to my channel. I have another DIY for you guys today, but today I just want to share with you guys this speaker that I have. It's from Creative, and the speaker is the Creative Metallic Ultra Portable Compact Bluetooth Wireless Speaker. Yeah, you guys, I wanted to come on and share with you guys what I listen to my music with. If you follow me on Instagram, I show you how it really sounds when I'm doing my DIYs. <laughs> so, I want to share with you what helps me get that sound out there. This little speaker right here, you guys. OMG. <laughs> All right, here it is. It's nice and compact, very lightweight, and it has features at the bottom. Um, you can use SD card with it, um, the on and off button, and you can tear it up with your phone, any phone, or your computer. Now let me show you how I do it. You just go on your computer, go into your settings, turn on your Bluetooth, look for it, press it, then it tears up with your computer, and then you're going to hear the music. Okay, it comes with a UBS cord that you just plug it in and you charge it behind your computer. And the UBS cord is also like an antenna. You can pick up FM radio with this UBS cord, you guys. It's so super neat. And the battery life for this is up to 24 hours. 24 hours of battery life, you guys. It's small, but it's very powerful. Now I'm just going to hook it up to my phone, which you can hook it up to any phone, as long as you have Bluetooth, which is very nice. And the speakers also use Google Now and Siri, you guys. You can ask it to call someone in your contacts once it's connected to your phone over Bluetooth. Isn't that cool? That is so super cool. And once the speaker is connected over Bluetooth, you don't need to have you don't need to be next to your phone for it to work. I have the phone in my room and I go into my shower and I take the speaker with me and I listen to the music while I'm taking my shower. Yeah, I just place it on my counter. Isn't that neat? So now I'm going to show you how it sounds and looks when I'm doing my DIY videos, you guys. Okay, so I have my music on the side and then I turn my camera back around, set up for you guys. <laughs> And then I start my DIYs. I do listen to a wide variety of music while I'm doing my DIYs, you guys. All right, everyone. I will have a code for you guys so you can get 30% off. And this discount code will run until December 31st, 2017, you guys. Yeah, and the code is Petal is Bless. Yeah, you'll get 30% off. So I'll leave the link below so you can go over and get one of these speakers for yourself and OMG they are really really good and it goes very loud like I showed you well I didn't show you how loud it goes it goes even louder but you know it's really nice all right you guys remember the description box you can click and they have other lot of nice tech things over there too that you can check out all right all right let's get into our DIY Christmas centerpiece you guys okay we're gonna start off with this box that I got from Dollarama and a little square box will do. And I got this vase from Dollarama. And these candle holders from Dollar Tree. And we have the paints here that we'll be using. And we'll be using some Mod Podge. Mod Podge. <laughs> and some glitter. <laughs> and we have our gems that we'll be using from Dollarama. And we have this floral. The, the thing that the flowers are going to go in. 
<laughs> and we have our flowers from the Dollar Tree. Lovely Christmas flowers. And we have our tools and our E6000 and our glue gun. All right, everyone, let's get started. All right, everyone, we're going to start by giving our box one coat of white paint all the way around. And now that our box is dry, we're going to add our gems to the corners. Next, we're going to add the Mod Podge to the center of our box all the way around, and we're just going to add the glitter. Time to glitter it out, you guys. <laughs> And I'll be adding this clear gloss protector to seal in the glitter, you guys. And now we'll be adding the gems to the to the vase that we're gonna be using for the candle holder. Gonna be placing the gems going all the way around. We're gonna take the E6000 and glue the candle holder to the bottom of the vase. Next, we're going to add our flowers and do our flower arrangements, you guys. Just placing the flowers all around till we get a nice pattern. And here's our finished look, you guys. Our lovely, uh, what do you call it now? Lovely blinged out Christmas centerpiece. Yeah, I love how it turned out. They look very nice. The candle holders are very nice too. With the taller um, vase using as a candle holder, I think it looks very nice. And I love the flowers. Oh, Dollar Tree has some beautiful, beautiful flowers for Christmas. They're all blinged out and shiny, just the way I like it. And the glitter on the box with the rhinestones at the side. It looks lovely with the white. And here's the centerpiece with the LED lights or LED lights. Oh boy, here I go again. Yeah, with the lights inside. I think it looks very nice. You can put candles inside or you can put the LED lights. They look beautiful like this. All right, everyone, I hope I've inspired with another lovely DIY for your Christmas decor. And don't forget to check the link in the description box for the creative metallic speaker box, wireless speaker box. OMG, I rock into the music with it. Yep, every time I do my DIYs. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for coming on and seeing the DIY that I did today. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more of the DIYs that I come up with to share with you guys. Remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Bless. Bye-bye, everyone. Baby, I know, I know that me and you should be together Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All my life, I've been waiting for somebody